Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, join the Hawaiian Shirt Papa at the, uh, for a visit with the St. Vincent de Paul and Elias Street in London. There's multiple locations there. And then here we go. We're inside, just inside the door, there's one section. It's got some nice furniture and wall units. But the wall units are typically filled with some of their nicer items. Uh, glassware, ceramics, and so on. Here we're going to be coming up to a tea service. I believe it's Chinese. Oh, some glassware that I always have to look for for Westwood Avenue. And here we are. Let's see, I think it's Japanese. It could be Chinese. I'm not. I don't know for sure. And here we see the bottom, and I think the price there says five ninety nine. It does have some staining on the inside but that's not necessarily bad it means that it was well loved so yeah it, that'll clean up along with the screen that's usually necessary yeah, it's got just the the oriental script on the bottom so good chance it's chinese it could be japanese I, I, like i said i don't know the difference between them they are related uh, in their script one is simplified from the other And here we go. That gave me a little more time to talk about it, but I guess I didn't need that much time. This was a very lovely little teapot. They've got teapot and cup sets grouped up there in a few different spots. Some of these are crystal, some, are, some of them are glassware. There's some glassware that, uh, as Westwood Avenue will go on about, is, is um, trying to mimic crystal. So you see some, there's a service there. I don't think those were actually originally set up together, but it does work together for those two. And little figurines. They've got little labels with what they are. There's another teacup and pot. There's a variety of those in there. May well have been one person's collection. Now these must be considered higher value because they've actually locked up the little cabinets. Oh, it's also right beside the entrance door, so they don't want somebody to snatch and run. And here we're starting to head towards the uh, rest of the store. At the front, they've got some of their furniture. I didn't get into too much of the furniture, but you will see a significant amount more. They're books. I would think these are DVDs or VHS. And then we've got a uh, so, uh, mishmash of stuff here some more furniture these are more like desks and bureaus and dressers I may have been trying to avoid getting people in the in the shot uh -huh. country music a book or it might be a DVD inside the book as well the little shoe section they have here clothing now I didn't see anything particular in the footwear I was starting to look for the 
the Hawaiian shirts, but didn't quite get that far. Check out the purses, nothing in particular that grabs the eye. Again, even if they are something, they may have some issues of wear or dirt or just not a brand name or they're well known to be from China. I'm looking at the men's shirts. I, I, I will say that I looked at them more than once. Um, these were for, far more colorful, but I think these were the ladies and some of them were those nursing tops, like the nurses and such wear in, at, the, uh, at the hospital or in clinics. So these are knit tops. So I was having a difficult difficulty because I wasn't sure if they'd mixed in the knit tops and the uh, collared tops of, 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 fa of other fabrics. I see some stuff over here, but no. Let's take a look on this side. There's another aisle that has clothing. And there's another aisle here that has clothing. So I take a quick look at these down here. No, no, these are all ladies wear a suede jacket, if I remember right. And around I go. Still looking, I like I can't believe that there's no short sleeve shirts to start to look from. So we're looking at some jackets, uh, other household goods. There's some jeans on the left there. So now all I can do is look at these shirts and they may have mixed the long sleeve and short sleeve together. It makes it so much harder. In any case, there wasn't much of any colorful stuff here. The closest colorful one was this, and that's certainly not a Hawaiian shirt. It tends towards it, but it isn't a Hawaiian shirt. And um, I was quite disappointed. I was really hoping to find some here. Here we go. Starting off for the rest of the store. They're, they're organized. There's a whole little nook of children's clothes. Not knowing exactly what I'd f go and see in there. Popped in. Came out the other side. feels like we're repeating some sections. Yes, we are. Because that was the only way in and out. There's Westwood Avenue. And we've got some books that we were looking at earlier. And off I start heading. Some uh, small appliances on, are on the left there. This is where they've got desks and tables, as I said earlier, and some bureaus and dressers. And that's enough todaying for today. I uh, almost felt I should get that one. Although this was, I think our, it was our second stop today. The first one was at a an auction to pick out uh, some items that were purchased online. Um, hmm. Onward we go. Oh, some egg cups. I think that's what they are. For soft boiled eggs. They're in pretty good shape. Not particularly valuable, but that's the way it is. Sometimes there's some uh, older type of glassware that I look for. For Stella. Westwood Avenue. And I didn't expect these two this this two jam jam pots to be made together. I thought they'd be one piece. An old bottle 
of not sure what because the label isn't on there but the bottle has some measurements along it these are often the old medicine man bottles it could also be some ointment and some other things that they they were used for a lot of things for uh, in its era and then we jumped around a little bit to see these things oh yes they have all the ah some interesting items on this little shelf i thought maybe no it's just a nice piece but nothing particular and some other these are all candle items these are all the headboards and and bed pieces and with them they've got a few other things as well as you'll see coming up some small statuary I suppose they didn't consider them to be as valuable so that's why they tucked them back here and didn't worry about them the, you'd certainly have to go past the cache to uh, get out to, with those things and off we go some more statuary as we're heading, working towards the cache area and past the cache we're past the cache at this point. I'm going into the furniture. No, this is just beside the cache. And then we head off into a pile of furniture with bookshelves that are also filled with vases, statuary, artwork is on the walls. Yeah. A little statuary in this niche corner cabinet. The furniture here actually looks quite decent. Uh, maybe a bit on a larger side. It may not fit into the, some of the newer apartments and the newer homes, but it's of its era. There's the rest of the furniture in the entrance we came in. That's the exit there with the heart. And some more various containers and bits of, oh yes, some Quebec style wood carvings there and in the window they did a very nice display because they made use of the sunlight to illuminate the colored glass it really helped it stand out I must admit that that was well 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 done here we are looking into the prints these are various uh, start off with some show show uh, posters and then they look like they're into the like corporate art. <laughs> That's what I call it anyway. Uh, here we get some more. The, most of the stuff here is prints. If you find an, an original, it's pretty, pretty unusual. In some cases, it may well be just worthwhile getting it for the frame. I really thought this was interesting. It looks quite old. The back was just plain, dark. It wasn't uh, taped on uh, with a dust cover, but uh, eh, I didn't go for it. But you see the prices are like $25 and $15. $15 would not be bad if you're just trying to get a nice frame. There's a $10 one. I guess they didn't think the art was worthy of anything. But in some cases, the frame that's worth it to you. It doesn't matter what the picture is. You may already have a lovely piece of art at home that you're looking to get a frame for, and this would be a most inexpensive manner by which to get one of those. Well, we're getting close to the end of this one. I'm hoping that you guys would uh, subscribe and uh, mark the bell so you get a notification of my the upcoming uploads so that you won't miss anything. There were some free things included. Primarily, they were uh, religious writings. 